Hi, I'm Angela, and welcome to the fifth episode, I think, of the New Edits podcast. I'm coming to you from Newcastle in New South Wales, and I'm going to talk to you about some knitting that I've been doing. I haven't recorded for a couple of months because I've just finished uni, and my uni folders are just there. I need to put them away. Uh, I'm just really glad to be finished for the year. So, I've been knitting a lot of socks, so let's get into that. Uh, this pair, I think it's Regia. Um, it's the gnome colorway, and I think they're really pretty. I really like the kind of sunset stripe that's there, and I really like where it's positioned in the sock. Um, so yeah, they are for my brother's physio, and I hope that she likes those. And I made a pair for my brother. This is them. And it's made out of little skein and the big wool yarn. And it's 90% Targi and 10% nylon. And the colorway is Toad's Adventure from Wind in the Willows, I'm pretty sure. So I hope he likes those. They pull a little bit, but I don't mind how they knit up. I think they're really quite pretty. And I think he'll like those for winter time. And I made my brother's other physio a pair of socks. I'm just going to put it on the sock locker. And this is in paint box yarns in their rainbow stripe colorway. Very original. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed because there's quite a few splotches in the yarn, which you can see. I like a crisp, like more crisp color. So a little bit disappointed and it's a little bit more rustic. It's kind of like an opal or a regia yarn, which is fine. I think that they will last um, my brother's physio a long time. That's that one. And then I think I showed the sock blank that I got from Squiggle Yarn Co. on my last podcast. Um, this is what it looks like. And I've knit one sock from this sock blank. And I think it's one of the most beautiful socks that I have ever knit. The colours in it are just so beautiful. I just really love sock blanks because you never know how they're going to knit up. It's kind of like a knit your own adventure, but I mean technically you don't get any choice in what colours are coming up, but it's just such fun to knit. So I can't wait to finish the second sock because I think that they'll be my favourite pair of socks ever. Oh, sorry, I thought I had some lipstick on me. No, just bad skin. Uh, okay, what else have I been making? I have made my friend, well, I'm making my friend a campsite shawl. And I'm on section C, so I have another section to go. And I think it's knitting up, up, knitting up sorry, really well at the moment. I'm using Malabrigo worsted in the Tureg colorway. And it's such a beautiful, soft yarn. And I think my friend is really going to like it when I finish it. That's in my Fat Squirrel Halloween bag, which I really love. And I'm knitting another friend some socks. Surprise, surprise. And that's them there. They're out of the Chappelle Wool Admiral Bedrucked colorway in, I think it's Aqua. But it's really pretty. So that's knitting up quite well. And I think that's about all the works in progress that I have to show you. I have bought some yarn, which is a bit naughty. I'm going to try and really restrict my yarn purchasing next year. Because really, I have enough yarn to last me the rest of my life, so I don't really need any more. Um, it's just such fun to buy, though. <laughs> uh, okay, so I purchased the Squiggle Yarn Advent Calendar. So if you don't want to have a look and see what's in there, then please fast forward this video. Uh, it came in this really beautiful box, and I only bought the 12-day uh, calendar because I'd already purchased another advent calendar, which has arrived, but I haven't opened it yet. 
I have opened up I have opened up this one because I just couldn't wait. Okay, ready? Ta da! It's so pretty. Um I think I'm going to knit one of Amber O'Brien's Advent patterns. I'm not sure which one, but it's super pretty. So I kind of wish that it was wrapped a little bit better because you could see the ends of the yarn poking through the wrapping and it was um, in that colour order so there wasn't really any surprise of what colour was going to be next. So perhaps, yeah, you know, a bit more variation in how it was ordered would be a good idea for next time but still I really love it and she's one of my favourite yarn dyes. And the um, big skein that came for the last day was this one. Just stunning and the colourway is called Happy Mind. So I really love that. I bought uh, Gabby from Once Upon a Corgi's yarn advent calendar as well which I received in the mail. Uh, I'm not going to open this one though, I'm going to actually keep this for December because I was a little bit naughty with my last, with that advent calendar, opening it up even before December started. So hers are wrapped in these little boxes and they're based off the Court of Thorns and Roses books by Sarah J Maas which I've read and I loved. And there's three main books, um, I think they're in this order, so it's the red one, then the blue one, then the green one. My favourite was the blue book. Um, I'm not sure if she have, she will have any more coming out, but we'll see. So I can't wait to open those up. And I have the, that's the last one. It wasn't very nicely wrapped. Hopefully the yarn is quite nice. Oh, and also Gabby from Once Upon a Corgi dyes some yarns based off the Th uh, Throne of Glass books, which is also a series by Sarah J Maas. I'm in, I'm reading, sorry, the fourth book. Queen of Shadows and I'm really loving it. That's the back. And she's dyed I think four main colorways from this series. I bought two of them. The Hello Witchling and Hello Princeling. They kind of go together. And I'm thinking about making socks with those which should turn out quite nicely. Um, Opal Yarn released a really beautiful range of sock yarn called Fresh Fruit, I think it's pronounced. And so I bought a couple of balls from that range because I think it's such a beautiful range. That's two of them. And then these are the other two, which I think are my favourites. So I can't wait to knit those up. Um, my family's really good because no matter what colour sock yarn I use, they'll still wear the socks, which is fantastic. Like my dad um, rocks this pair of pink and purple socks, which I made actually for me, but I gave them to him. He still wears them. He doesn't care. So that's really good. And Knit Picks had a yarn sale, the yearly sale, and I really wanted to make my best friend a Pearl Soho stitch block cow. And so I bought some wool from them. This is Capra DK, which is their undyed yarn, and this is uh, Preciosa Tonal. This is a bit thicker whoops, than this one, so I'm hoping it will still work out quite well. This is Ballet, and this is Dusty Rose, which are very nice. Um, in terms of Christmas yarn that I was speaking about earlier, uh, Vanessa, who dyes the My Creative Garage range of yarns, had a secret Christmas sock set, which of course I had to buy because I love her yarns. And so this is her sock set, which is called Christmas Lunch Under the Shade of the Gum Trees, which is really pretty. Um, Mustache Yarns had a advent calendar, sorry, Kind of like an advent sock yarn so every day for 24 days you knit a different colored stripe and i'm going to use this for the heels and toes and it's just so pretty so i can't wait to knit those up on the first of december or we'll start knitting them on the first of december and i was lucky enough to get some um ooh, murray wool company this is her cauldron cake sock set 
and I just love the colours. I would never have thought to put these colours together and they're just beautiful. She's based in the US and I just love everything that she dyes. Her name is Sarah. So yeah, can't wait to knit those up. Um, oh, with Squiggle Yarn Co. She had a yarn update and I managed to get this beautiful skein of Don't Hide Your Magic which I think will probably make socks. If not, I'll pop it in a shawl. And there was a de-stash happening um, that I saw and they had some mustache yarns in their pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, colorway. Um, so that'll knit up some pretty socks. I've never had a pumpkin spice latte and I don't plan on having one because pumpkin and coffee together no thanks. I don't even like coffee, let alone pumpkin coffee, so that's not going to happen. And then there was a uh, a craft fair in Newcastle. It was more more sorry for quilters and embroiderers, but I did manage to find some sock yarn. And this is a New Zealand yarn I've never seen before uh, by Countrywide Yarns Co. and New Zealand or well, NZ New Zealand. So I'm going to knit some socks out of that, which is quite pretty. So I think that is about it. Um, in terms of what's been happening, life stuff, I um, went to the, what's it called, Fiber Fest up in Singleton and I had a really great day, but I had to, I couldn't stay there for very long because we had other things planned, my family and I. So just did a quick run around there. I did buy some yarns, but I don't know where on earth I put them to show you. So um, I did, yeah. I, I don't know where I put them. So once I do find them, I'll show them to you. But it was a really great day. It didn't, there didn't seem to be as many people there this year as there was last year, which was good for me because it was easier to walk around. I bought some fiber lily yarns and I bought some uh, fiber and some needles. So it was quite a small, uh, small purchases this year, if that makes sense. But I had a really good time. So I think I'll make a separate video of that to just show you how the day was. Um, and I'm definitely planning on spending a lot more time there next year. So that's it. Thanks for joining me and I will see you probably in a couple of months because now I've got no uni. I'm just going to knit all the things. All right. Thanks for joining me. Bye.